Okay, welcome back. Again, Wayne Norris here. And we're going to see if we can finish this jug up. And we've got the nose done, as you can see, and a face and some eyeballs in there. We're going to see if we can put the upper eye, brows, eyelids combination. I like to do that. Let's see, let me etch my top again a little bit here so make sure it stays good. And I'll put a little bit of slip on there. Okay. I like to make my guys sort of mad looking. Put it there like that. And we pull it off there at the side and we'll do this other side the same way. I haven't got my pieces. Like he's mad at the world. I do some happy ones sometimes too. But. Okay. Now. Even though I've got the slip on there and it's, you think it'd stay pretty good, I still always put a little bit around the top here. And I take my wooden tool and I press it down together to help make it stay and hold. Still keeps the and everything but pushes it in there still gets me uh, make sure it stays together good okay there we go looking like the face there okay I'll put his lips up a little bit Now we're going to do a handle. Right, we got a piece of clay we I fixed and got sort of ready. I'm going to pull a handle. You'll probably see this a little bit. Ryan, you want to can I get me in? Am I in it? Just like normal, just wet it, pull. It's not my favorite thing to do. That's one of those things that has to be done make a good jug and this guy I'm on sometimes I put ears on I think I'm on I'm not gonna put any ears on him okay good thing about jugs with handles, you don't need real long handles. At least I don't use long handles. I use those short handles. Okay. Now lay that down. I'm gonna hand a little bit, turn him around. Okay, yeah, we're gonna turn him around here. And etch where I'm going to put the handle here, about center on the back, behind the opposite of his face. Etch the top and the bottom a little bit. And we'll put a little bit of slip on that. Sit on there a little bit. Work my clay around here with my finger. Okay. 
A lot of times the handle, when you pull them, it's less, works a little bit better to let them dry a little bit before you put them on there, but you can uh, go ahead and do it like this before they've uh, had a chance to get too dry. If you let them dry a little bit, it's a little easier to handle them. Put a little indention. I like to have a little indention. There, yeah, I got a little tool. Sometimes I press a little circle there. pretty much together now. And what I'll do now is I'll just work on them a little bit and smooth out some places here and there. I didn't do a video of me turning the jug. This jug here is, was turned probably last week. I've turned them several and put them under plastic and been trying to get to them. And the only trouble with that is that if you ain't careful, they'll dry out. And that's the problem I had. And so what I have had to do is take these ones and spray them with a little spritz of spray bottle. And Put me a little cloth over them, wet it down, help keep them wet enough so when I got time to work on them, I could work on them. Now a lot of people ask about who come up with face jugs, and I've heard all kind of different stories from which I know slaves made face jugs back in the slavery time in the 1800s because there are some examples of some and that's the earlier examples were made by slaves some say they were used to store poison in and it would tell the kids that hey if you see the face don't mess with that jug it's not nothing good for you it'll make you sick and then I've heard that back in the moonshine days during the prohibition that people made face jugs to put their moonshine in and that the faces sort of represented the, the moonshine and so you hear different stories I don't think anybody really knows for sure exactly when the first one was made, actually if you'll go back thousands of years during when pottery was being made, you'll find pottery with faces on it, so I think it started a whole lot longer before then, and there's probably different reasons, people have their own reason now. Okay, it's time to sign it, we're going to put Little Creek Pottery on here. Now, my good friend on YouTube, Simon Leach, he don't like us old folks potter here that sign. He likes a stamp, which a stamp is nice. I've tried to make one, but I can't come up with one like I like. And I sort of like signing it because it sort of gives it some intimacy that, hey, this is what I did. Um, this is... Piece number seven, I put the number for the seven for the year. This is the seventh face jug I've made this year. January 110. Happy New Year's to everybody too. And there we go. And if you'll keep an eye on eBay, this guy here will be on eBay.